of this fight here in Montreal to possibly win back that belt to the super middleweight division of the, the World Boxing Council. You certainly can't discount that win over, uh, you see the Hilton body work here again, that win over Catley. People in Montreal understand that Catley's a talented, tough guy, obviously with what he did against Luca, and uh, he he's a legitimate super middleweight again, and for Tabela to stop him in the last round shows you a couple things. One, that Tabela's got a ton of stamina, and two, that he can punch it this way. There goes the bell. We're into round three. I think as the fight progresses, you're going to see Tabella get busier and busier. Well, when he hears that Davy Hilton didn't spar any more than six rounds, there's another keep right that hand in mind. Davy Hilton uh, on Guy Jutra's card again awarded oh, the round. Oh, again. Now I think Elmo Adolf warned Hilton there for the low blow this time, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Adolf, and oh, oh, there was another one that was uh, borderline, to say the least, Steve. Yeah, uh, Elmo's being very uh, liberal about where the belt line is tonight, which is good news for Davy Hilton, the way he wants to fight this fight. Now, the other side of it is, some boxers wear their trunks up a little higher than probably they should. Now, I'm not saying Tabela is, but his, that sometimes might be a factor. That does have, I don't think Tabela is, uh, you know, is, I saw him actually in the Lennox Lewis uh, World Championship fight where he had his, yes. his, his <laughs> shot right up over his uh, belly button and, you know, almost to his uh, rib cage. Yeah. Well, that's not the case here. Minute 40 seconds remaining in the third round. Tabela attempting to come back, do some damage against Davy Hilton, really hasn't been able to. Early in this fight, Adolf again uh, issuing some instructions to Davy. Warning for holding and hitting, yeah. which again is a little bit of a trick, a little veteran move. I'm really surprised at the lack of offense from Tabella. But I agree with you, Mike. I think he's going to come on. Now, unless those body shots are really, there's a nice, cute little uppercut on the inside that landed. But you, you can't let the, the challenger get you too deep in the hole before Three you decide to come hole. on, right? Oh, yeah. Well, he's he's doing he was doing some good work on the inside there. But yet Hilton with him up against the ropes and well, Tabella's not, not throwing anything effective in the no. inside. Where Hilton's throwing those big bombs. Yeah, Davy. Oh, Davy has to land a couple more punches and like that. Uh, Stephen, he's well on his way to scoring on another round. Isn't well, he's he? oh, he's no, he's winning a round again. There's no doubt about that. Right. I'm just seconds. assuming Tobela has a game plan here, and I don't think it involves the first three or four rounds of this fight. <laughs> He's willing to sacrifice. Late in the third. Maybe he knows that Hilton has his five more than six rounds. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, word travels. Hey, there aren't many secrets here, are there? <laughs> Not a game where you keep secrets well. And Hilton is throwing those body shots just with a complete abandon, just like he's hitting a heavy bag. He's ripping those shots. There goes the bell, and the third round is over. Davey lo really looking relaxed as he walks back to the ring. And uh, the uh, referee, Elmo Adolf, over to Davey's corner, and I guess he's issuing instructions there about... Tell him to keep the punches up. Yeah, keep the punches up. Uh, see what's being said here in Davies Corner. How are you at lip reading there, Mike? Well, he's, he's definitely telling him to throw that uh, that uppercut when he's in the inside there. Davy Hilton doesn't like to get hit. He certainly is not going to go to war. It's certainly not as much as his brother Alex, whatever, even as Matthew, whatever. That Drayton fight 13 years ago, Matthew took a lot of shots. That was a war. Davy's a much slicker fighter and a very good defensive fighter. You yeah. can watch him covering on the inside. He can go in there and throw, uh, throw some bombs to the body and then get on his uh, on his legs, show some footwork, and as he bounce around, take a little bit of a rest. Well, fourth round here is underway, and we're going to again go back to our international judge, Guy Jutra, who has handed all three rounds to Davy Hilton. Guy? Yeah, Ron, Ron uh, Cabello came back in the uh, middle of the last round. He looked as though he was coming back to uh, take the round, but he uh, stopped short, and Davy was finished strong. So again, 
by a narrow margin of the last one, but it was a 10-9 round for Davey. Davey Hilton taking three straight. Thank you, Gee. Davey's getting closer with that left hook to the head. He's brought to bail his arms down a little bit. And he's been very close a couple of times to landing that flush. Oh, and he really rips him, too. Oh, there he goes again with those body punches. At this stage, Mike, are you seeing any deliberate game plan from either or from both boxes? Uh, well, Hilt Hilton's definitely not saving it. Every anything for la later rounds, that's for sure. Um, hopefully he has enough gas for the later rounds. Tabella seems like he's saving it for the, just doing a little pity pat uh, in the inside, which can be effective sometimes, snap his head back. Um, but he seems to show a little bit more offense now. Down under two minutes, minute 45. Tabela keeps everything short. He's very, very precise. Doesn't waste a lot of energy, a lot of motion. That's that uppercut that uh, Hilton's corner was looking for. He just missed it. Good exchange of punches here. Midway in the fourth round. Still nothing decisive coming from the defending champ. Davy really protecting himself pretty well. And oh, there we go again. Double left hook to the body. See, Tavo should be snapping that right hand when he... And you're right, he's packing those, uh, Steve. Oh, he is. He's, he's letting them go, and I think he's open to be a counter, but I, you know, I, I think he's, uh, he's hurt Tavella with I that. mean, you could feel those coming right from the balls of his feet. That's, uh, uh, yeah, that's true. He's, he's throwing them from left field. As Mike said, he's not holding anything back here. Yeah. I, uh, and it takes a lot of energy to throw those left hooks, too. A good body shot from Tavella. Tavella has not been able to land many. But still, we're 40 seconds left in this round, and Hilton's still probably going to win the round on, on points. It's, it's, a, it's a much so, closer round. Yeah. Because Hilton's landed the flashier shots, those body, that'll probably yeah. win the round for him with the and judges. That'll influence the judges. With a sure. narrow margin. So Tabela has to do something here, or else he is down 0-4. Davey very satisfied to let the clock tick. In close. Protecting gonna, himself we're, again. We're going to have to really watch here for any signs of Davies' work rate starting to drop because that would be hugely significant in this fight. Last seconds now of round number four. There goes the bell. Ooh, oh, that was a left hook. And that was after the bell, wasn't that it? That was, was after, after the, the bell. That was after the bell. They got a warning for it. Boy, every trick in the book coming well, out here. Well, you saw Hilton do it, uh, Alec Hilton do it last fight. Okay, here we are. Fourth round action here. See, Tabela does some kind of decent work in there. He's not really committing to those punches. And there's the body work again. And again, I think that's that stung him. And that's going to win right there. Those three shots. Double gonna, left hook, That's yeah. going to win the round for Hilton right there, I suspect. But you've got to watch again for Davy when, when he starts walking in and not throwing punches instead of letting his hands go. Here, look at the Quebec rules uh, for people across Canada and the United States, South Africa too. No standing eight count, no three knockdown, 10 points, must system. Referee and doctor can stop the fight and the boxer can be saved by the bell in the last round only. This one scheduled for 12 as all WBC championship fights are. And we're into round five and so far it has been a good one. We wouldn't have expected anything less. Gijutra you draw Giving that one to Tabela by the narrow margin of 10-9. Well, that's a, I think that you can make a case there. I, I gave it to Hilton. That uh, was a close round. You could go either way. It. It was a close round. round. But it was an important round for Tabela, certainly. Now he takes another flurry of Davy Hilton punches to the body. So he blocked some of those with his elbows. He mm -hmm. got down a little bit better that time. Didn't take the full... And he's, uh, he's pushing this fight a little bit now. Well, he's starting to run Davey Hilton around the ring, isn't he? And well, right, now Davey, he right now he's just trailing him around the ring yeah. and uh, not cutting that ring off. But I don't think Davey can circle around like Muhammad Ali for the next <laughs> Not, not <laughs> ever, uh, no. What's your take on that part of it, Mike? Well, you know, I, I think Hilton won the last, uh, you know, maybe the last four rounds from staying inside and ripping those body shots. Why not stay there like it is right now? Yeah. But stamina-wise, can he uh, continue to dance and... I and have no idea. <laughs> well, he can still punch, we know that. Oh, he definitely can. He landed three more. 
मिलत नहीं